I actually talked with Miller about uh, uh, a year ago and uh, and just jokingly I said you guys need to come up with a wireless foot pedal and he told me it's already in the works and I couldn't believe it because I was actually kidding I didn't think it could be done with all the radio frequencies that are happening during the welding process but they have it and it's absolutely flawless and I'll never be without it. I'll use my foot. I want all the control. I don't want a machine to do anything for me. I want all the control of what's happening with that puddle. When I got it, I was really concerned about its accuracy, to tell you the truth, uh, of how sensitive it would be because I'm, uh, I'm the type of TIG welder that I rock my foot a lot um, to, to control how much heat's going into the part and manipulation of the weld puddle. So the accuracy of what I'm doing with my foot to what translates to that TIG torch is very important to me. And, and I, was, I was very surprised because I can absolutely not tell any difference between the remote foot pedal and, and the, the standard corded foot pedal. The benefits are I'm not tripping over the cord. When, when I'm building an intake manifold, this thing gets constructed on the cylinder heads, on the engine block, so I'm constantly out of position. I'm constantly moving all around this engine. Anything with a cord, I'm tripping over it, it's getting tangled, it drives me absolutely crazy. And it's just constantly getting tangled around your workpiece, uh, and, and I found it's getting tangled around uh, the, the TIG torch lines. Um, obviously those can't be cordless, that would be wonderful if they could, but, uh, but yeah, the, the remote foot pedal is awesome.